All right, let's dig in and check out what processes I use to get from this uh, monstrosity to this. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but something I feel looks a lot harder than it actually is. Uh, now the crucial first step of every project is gonna be doing research and getting some references. Typically I'll comb through Pinterest, collecting images that inspire me, put them all on a board using this free software called Pure Ref. Uh, now that I've, I've got an idea of where I'm going, now we can start on our journey and jump into Unreal Engine. New project, blank game template, load it up. First things first, let's take care of some housekeeping. We're gonna go to edit, plugins, and enable water, the water plugin and the water extras plugin, as well as the movie render queue. Then we're gonna restart Unreal Engine like it prompts us to do. And then once we open it back up, we're just gonna go back to edit, project settings, and I like to turn off auto exposure. Now let's jump into the scene. The main thing I was worried about was this island type thing. So I went from selection mode into landscape mode and created a landscape. Then I used the standard skull brush to build some geometry up quick and dirty like, just so I had something to work with. Then the flattened brush to make the flat part of the island that everything can sit on smooth brush where the land meets the water, erode and hydro brush for subtle wear and tear on the whole island. Uh, after I got the island down, I knew water was next. You can go up to this button to add an actor, water, and you can just click it and then type, you know, WA, start typing water, and then click the water lake is what I used for this one. Um, and, and, you can, and then you can kind of use the points that are on it to shape it how you want, and you can actually right click to add different points and you can, you can just shape it exactly how you want. All right, now that we got the island and the water down, we can start adding some stuff. So you open up Quixel Bridge within Unreal, you just go to Window, Window, Quixel Bridge, and then you can just look through their stuff. I just picked this, I looked through all their statues and shrines until I found this cat wolf looking thing and whatever it is, cat wolf. And then I placed it within the middle of the island and turned it to kind of look at where, where I thought the moon was gonna be towards the end. Um, and really, once I got that all that down, I got the island, the water, and now this this uh, subject. I figured it was time to bring the camera in, so I added a camera, dragged it in. Um, it's a landscape shot, so you know we want wide angle, so 18 millimeter, 1.8 aperture, eyedropper on the cat. And from this point, we'll throw some mountains way in the background, and we'll we'll grab a, um, a landscape shader from Quixel Bridge that we can throw in this landscape. And at this point, it's just about finding assets from Quixel Bridge and bringing them into Unreal to fill out your scene. Uh, my computer's about to explode at this point, so I've jumped into an empty project to show you guys the last few steps of my workflow. Once you got your scene how you want it, we can select our directional light inside of our outliner and hit Control L on our keyboard to control the time of day. Um, from there, we're gonna create a new level sequence, drag our camera into the level sequencer, and then drop down the transforms and keyframe the uh, subtle animation on our camera. We can then hit the movie render queue um, and add anti-aliasing. Make sure you click override anti-aliasing right here and then add 64 into the uh, sample count. And then you should be able to hit render local and be good to go. Thanks for watching.